Alrighty folks, so now is the time for the build for the radiator and we're going to be doing the fan shroud now which is going to be way different than what I've been doing before because this one's actually going to extend past the actual air cooling fins or the cooling area in the center because the fans are 14 inch fans obviously this is a 28 from here to here 21 from bottom to top and um, although the fans are 14 inches that's just the fan itself the housings are gonna protrude a little over the edge but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that and it's gonna be done correctly it's not gonna be like a shabby job or it's not a, um, a budget build for the um, shroud now what I will say is I had already cut the brackets and I totally forgot to start doing the video on that. So you got the top, the bottom, and you got the sides. And all it is is three quarter inch um, aluminum, angled aluminum, I wouldn't call it angle iron, but it's angled aluminum. And it was cut with the good old trusty swag so I can't talk good about that enough because it works freaking awesome once he sent me the correct screws to get this thing super tight and lined up man I love it I, I just I just love it it's awesome so and that's how I ended up cutting these pieces like this to have the little notches on it and it cuts them out perfect I mean that's exactly what it is I didn't have to cut this part but I'll give you an idea of how it goes and like I said earlier usually when you do a radiator some people like take a measurement from one corner to the other and that corner to the other and then they'll try to make a perfect squared out framing for the radiators well not all radiators are perfectly square I will say the cold case radiator their radiators are square because when I made the frame and I measured from one corner to the other from that corner to here this sucker was square so kudos to cold case for that so we're gonna have one bracket on the inside like this we're gonna have another bracket on the inside like this and there has to be room obviously for these to um, sit in there this one's the bottom part and this is the top part and that's your frame right there now I am gonna make a two a two inch tall fan shroud this time this isn't gonna be just the actual aluminum shroud to 2x4 here or 2x3 I think it's on the bottom I think it's 2x4 two, two foot by four foot no it's not hold on oh it is two foot by four foot so I'm not just gonna cut it out and then put it onto the frame here I'm gonna bring it up higher that way when it's actually sucking air it's sucking air from everywhere and not just pretty much almost directly from the front of everything and that little framing right there that doesn't really it's not going to have an impact or anything at all on the cooling well, it's not covering up that much but you can see it's not that tall either but when you see how I'm gonna raise it you'll understand it's gonna be freaking awesome all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these put together I'm gonna brace it down I'll show you how I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna tack it and then we're gonna put the sheet of aluminum on top no after I tack it then we're gonna build the, the rest of the housing for it 
and then we'll put the face on it afterwards. So this just give you an idea of how the bottom base is going to be. And I have it set to where it's flush completely with this so that I can use brackets here and then use some um, some rib nuts here to hold the fan shroud on the top and the bottom because if you buy cold cases fan shroud they tell you to drill into this anyway or then they have their own little kits so I'm assuming if you can do that then it's not going to avoid the warranty because this is water doesn't travel through this little brace here so I don't see how that would interfere in the structure of the radiator or anything else because all it's doing is mounting down the fan shroud all right so let me get started here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some one two three blocks on here to keep this bracket flush with the factory brace that it has on the bottom so you can see if I remove this it's got this part if I put it back on you can see it it's real flush with the piece itself then I use one two three blocks and I'll put them here and I'll put one on the other side and then I'll put a clamp going across to um, keep it nice and snug that way I can tack it up without it moving also so let me set the camera up and then I'll show you how I'm gonna set it up All right, so I, I pretty much always use these type of clamps for a lot of stuff that I do. These are the 24 inch. They work great, depending on what you're gonna use them for, but I've never had a problem with them. So I'll set up one block here in the front. And I'll set up one block in the back. Tighten it up. And you can run your fingers on the sides here and you can see it's real smooth so you know it's good there. And you'll do the same thing for the other side. This doesn't have to be super tight. All you're doing is making sure that it, you have all the flushness you need on both sides. That's all you're doing. And that's it. This thing's sitting perfect. So, now that that's done, you got a brace here, you got a brace here, then you can tack your corners. That way your brace is going to be solid. So let me get set up and then we'll redo the video or restart the video okay so I'm not gonna get into detail on the full tacking and welding of this up if you're making one of these obviously you know how to weld so I'm just giving you an idea of what it looks like what I'm doing so I'm gonna tack all these corners in and then I'll probably go with another pass on them so this is just what I'm gonna do for now
All right, so I got the framing part done and I'm going to be using 1 8 by 2 by 6 uh, aluminum strips, if you want to call them that. And so, like I said, this is going to be 2 inches. You're going to have your frame and then you're going to have this part on the side of the frame all the way around. Sorry, I'm one handed here. All the way around. And then we'll lay the top sheet on top of that. But I'm going to have to end up doing a little bit of custom modification on this side because these are 14 inch fans and they're going to be 28 inches across. The fans will be in here, but the housings will be out just a little bit. So, I got the tacking done on the frame just so I have a way to get it to move around. Once you put this on, corners are perfectly there. Basically just tacked it three because I had already cut these. Yep. I love this swag. I'm telling you. I love the swag. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Watch the video on how I did that, and uh, you might end up getting one. So, the two inch strips, I already tacked that one in there. I had already measured it out. You can see the gap there. You don't want it touching or rubbing anywhere on the welds. If anything like that does happen, you will void the warranty on this radiator because it was done by you, not by a manufacturer's defect. So don't have anything rubbing up against anything that was welded or the aluminum case itself. And you can see I marked it. That's probably about a little over a quarter inch. Doesn't touch anywhere. So we're going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to tack that in. Once I get that in, I'm going to make a strip that's going to go from the end of this one all the way over to the end of this one. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you how I, how I clamp it all down. <laughs> 